According to this study, by far the most comprehensive of its kind in history, there are only three whole foods on the planet that have more antioxidant power than cloves, and one of them is amla, dried Indian gooseberries. Now, not only is it more powerful, but also more palatable. You could add a whole teaspoon of amla to a smoothie and probably wouldn't even taste it. Try doing that with a teaspoon of powdered cloves. <laughs> one sip, you'd be on the floor. Uh, let's look at the antioxidant content of some typical American breakfast foods. Bacon and eggs, for example. A bowl of cornflakes with milk. Egg McMuffin, uh, pancakes with maple syrup, bagel with cream cheese. Now compare those to the smoothie I had this morning. A cup of unsweetened soy milk, a half a cup of frozen blueberries. Whoa! All right, already I've got to shrink the scale way down the pulp of a nice ripe Mexican mango. Note the mango alone has more antioxidants than, than the other breakfasts. Right? A tablespoon of ground flax seeds, and my previous secret ingredient, a palmful of bulk white tea leaves. Just throw them in there and blend them in. Now that used to be my breakfast smoothie, but now a teaspoon of that gooseberry powder. And we're off the charts again. Right? Look at that. That's about four cents worth of omelet, four pennies. And look what it does to my smoothie. 1,500 units of antioxidant power, and I haven't even fully woken up yet. Way more than the five other meals combined. In fact, uh, more than the average person gets in an entire week. Right? I could drink my smoothie and eat nothing but donuts the rest of the week, and most people still wouldn't catch up. Notice, though, that you know, even though I packed the blender with amazing stuff— blueberries, uh, tea leaves— fully half of the antioxidant power came from that single teaspoon, that four cents worth of powdered gooseberries.